Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix Fortnite crashing on PC problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution is to run the Epic Games Launcher as administrator. To do this, we right-click on the Epic Games Launcher and click Run as Administrator. After Epic Games opens, you can open Fortnite and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is to verify Fortnite's files. To do this, we open Epic Games. Then click on Library. Click on the three dots next to Fortnite. Click on Manage. And finally, click Verify. We verified our game files. Now you can open Fortnite and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our third solution. Our third solution is to delete temporary files on our computer. To do this, we come to the search section and write percent temp percent. Then we select all the files here and delete them. We tick do this for all current items and click skip. We deleted the temporary files on our computer. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our fourth solution. Our fourth solution is to update our video card drivers. I put the link of AMD, Intel and Nvidia video card drivers in the description section, you can go directly to the download page from there. I'm downloading AMD video card drivers because my video card is AMD. You can download the drivers for whichever video card you are using. I will not show the installation process and the drivers update part. Because I don't want the video to be longer and the installation and driver update steps are simple. After updating your video card drivers, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our fifth solution. Our fifth solution is turn off high-resolution textures in Fortnite. To do this, we open Epic Games. Then click on Library. Click on the three dots next to Fortnite. We go to Options. Untick high-resolution textures. And we click Apply. Now you can open Fortnite and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our sixth solution. Our sixth solution is switch to DX11. To do this, we open Epic Games. Click on our profile from the top right. We go to Settings. We scroll down and find Fortnite. Then expand Fortnite. We tick the additional command line arguments. And finally we write D3D11. If you no longer want to open Fortnite with DX11, you can delete D3D11. We switch to DX11. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our seventh solution. Our seventh solution is Repair Visual C++ Redistributables. There are two programs we need to download to do this. I put the link of the site in the description. You can download these programs from there. We downloaded the programs. Now we can start the installation process. Since the first program is already on my computer, I do not need to install it. If you don't have it on your computer, complete the installation. We open the second program. We tick I agree to the license terms and conditions and click install. The installation process is complete. Now you can open Fortnite and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our 8th solution. Our 8th solution is Adjust Compatibility Mode. To do this, we open Epic Games. Click on Library. Click on the three dots next to Fortnite. Click on Manage. Click on Open Install Location. Click on Fortnite Game. Click on Binaries and then click on Win64. Inside Win64 we find Fortnite client win64shipping.x. You can press the F key to find it more easily. After we find Fortnite client win64shipping.x, we right-click it. 
Click on Properties. Click on Compatibility. Then we tick Run this program in compatibility mode for. We select Windows 8. We tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations and click Apply. We press OK and we close this place. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. Before I end the video, there are two more alternative solutions that I would like to mention. The first of these is to come back to the additional command line arguments section and write limit client ticks. The second is set matchmaking region to auto in game settings. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.